Uh, hi everyone, it's Ian from Q-Tips. This quick video is a response to a question I had with regards to coordinate systems and in particular um, exporting coordinates from a layer to a CSV. Now that is actually in itself quite a simple process so I'll show you how to do that first but I also want to show you how to extract the coordinates in degrees, minutes, seconds, so not just decimal degrees. And there's two ways to do that, so I'll show you those two ways. But first, let's quickly export the coordinates for this point file called Cities. And I've only got two layers in this project. I've got a point file, which is a shape file, called Cities, and then I've got the OpenStreetMap monochrome uh, base layer, which is streamed from the uh, Quick Map services. So let's have a look at my Cities um, attribute table and currently it's just an ID and a name so let's quickly extract the X and Y values so I'm going to toggle editing by clicking on the editing pen and I'm going to add an X column which will be a decimal number it'll have a length of 10 and a precision of 6 I'll repeat that step for a Y column Now that I have those two new columns, I'll calculate the coordinates for them. And the coordinates for this layer will be in the coordinate reference system assigned to this layer, which is EPSG4326, which is actually the same as the project coordinate reference system. So let's start off with the X column, and we'll use the uh, field calculator to quickly calculate those coordinates. So we are going to update an existing column, which is X, and the simple calculation is dollar sign $X. Okay. And then we'll do the same for y. And that's dollar sign y. Simple, straightforward process. So we can save these changes. And now it's just a case of exporting this layer to a CSV. So we right click on our layer. We go to Export, Save Features As. And I see I'm defaulting to a comma separated values, but you may default to some other. Uh, shape file or, or file format. So you do need to choose comma separated value CSV and then name a path or, or a, a somewhere on your on your hard drive where you want to save this layer and let's call it coords and I am not going to add this to my project so I just want to go and deselect that option if it is available to me. Um, is there an option to do that? Yeah, if there is one, I don't see it. So let's just run this. Oh, there we go. Add saved file to map. We do not want to do that. So let's run that. Click OK. Like I said, it hasn't been added. But there is a, a, a path name to the folder, which I was too slow to click. So let me actually just go to my desktop and straight to that folder. OK, here we go. So here's our, our new um, CSV called Chords. And I'm going to right click on that and say, open with, where's my option to open with, let's right try that again, open with Excel, and there we go, so that's your CSV, so really quite a simple straightforward process. Now what if we want the degrees, minutes, seconds for this layer? Oh. So that is easy enough to do as well, and there's two ways to do that. So I'm going to show you the first way, which is possibly the long way around. So we're going to open up the attribute table, start an editing session, and then open our field calculator. And in this instance, instead of creating a, a new field using the new field button, I'm just going to create a new field within the field calculator. And I am going to call this DMS for degrees, minutes, seconds. It is going to be a string. And let's make it 200 just to be safe. OK, so now I need to calculate the values for this new column. And I am going to use some code for that. And I have this code saved as a text file on my hard drive. And I'm opening it with Notepad++. And this is what it looks like. So we're using the floor function as well as the absolute value function to extract the x value for degrees. And then we're doing the same thing for minutes, where we're subtracting the floor value for, for minutes, times it by 60 from the floor value, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go through and, ta and paste each one of these separate expressions into your um, field calculator to get an idea of what it of what these these different sections do but what we're doing is we're essentially assigning a minus sign to the coordinate 
and then we're concatenating it with uh, the uh, de degrees, yes, and then we're concatenating it with, with minutes, and then we're concatenating it with um, second degree seconds. Okay, so that's what this text is for. So I'm going to grab this text, right click and say copy, and then paste it into my field calculator, and then you can see the output preview is 2 degrees and 20 minutes and 38.11 seconds. Okay, so now that is perfect for one of the, w whether it's a longitude or latitude, but I also want to include the both, both sets of coordinates for the x and y values. So what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, that's fine, so concatenate that with the a space and a comma and concatenate that again with the values for y. So what I'm doing is I'm pasting that exact same expression back into the into the expression here, except I'm replacing all of the x's now with y's. So it's going to do the same thing, but it's going to do it for y. So make sure that you replace all those x's with y. Just a couple more, I think. And let's just double check that text. Any X's that I've missed? I don't think so. And then if you look at your output put preview, you can see what's happening. So we can click OK. And there we go. So we have a new column with degrees, minutes, seconds. And if we click on Cape Town, that is 18 degrees east and minus 33 degrees south. And that is perfect. That is what I expect to see. And that is the first way on how to extract degrees, minutes, seconds for a point. The second way is using a plugin. So we can save this and then close that and also close the text editor and deselect Cape Town. And now I want to add a plugin which is called Long Lat. So let's just go to plugins and manage and install plugins and then select all. And then you'll need to be connected to the internet so that you can search the online repository. And it is, is it lat long? Is it long lat? Whoops. Long lat. Why is it not searching? It needs to search this. Oh, it's because I am making typos. There we go. So lat long tools. So select that and click install plugin. And once that plugin has installed, you'll get access to a toolbar, which is here, as well as a, a menu on the plugins menu. So we are going to use the conversions um, functions for this plugin. And the one we want to use is called point layers to fields. So select point layers to fields. And then when that opens, you're going to get the option to select an input point vector layer and there is only one in this instance it's cities and then the the amount of the well the format so we're going to go two fields and the fields are going to be long and lat now I'm changing I'm changing these I need to change these in my instance because I've already got two columns called x and y so I do need to change these otherwise I will get an error so long lat and we can flip this around to long lat as well the delimiter between the coordinates, that's fine. Um, the coordinate reference system is also fine. And then we need to change the format to degrees, minutes, seconds. We can add a space to change the style. And then we need to add a precision of three so that we got uh, decimal seconds, point something. Okay. And that is it. What we can do is we can create a temporary file so we can click run. And that will add a new layer to our project. And if we open up that layer, and this is a temporary layer, mind you, open up the attribute table, and you'll see that there are two new columns added for longitude and latitude. And they've got uh, an extra a suffix south or north or east or west, depending on which hemisphere the coordinate falls in. And that's how you do it. So two, two simple methods, one a bit easier than other. I, 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 would, I would imagine using a plugin easier than adding code all the time but two methods on extracting the coordinates for degrees, minutes, seconds for points. So I hope you, fi I hope you found that useful. Um, yeah, till next time. Cheers.